Okay, so now parallelly the full stack web ID is getting loaded. It's taking some time. Let me refresh it. So sometimes what we have seen is that if you switch tabs, then the loading can take more time. And if you're present in the current tab where the web ID is loading, it is quick. So we are in our workspace in our full stack web ID. This workspace is blank because uh, this is a new account which we have created for workflow. Now what I will be doing is I will show you how to create a new workflow if you have a lot of cluttered in your web ID where because of learning project or some projects, how can you create a new workspace and you can switch and start workflow in only that workspace. So you go here, the workspace manager, and you basically say create a new workspace. I will say work or I will just give name as flow. So you know that this is for workflow. I'm not giving it as workflow because I can confuse them with workspace because both are having W as the starting character. Now I will open this workspace and um, if you have a new workspace then you have to again add the plugins or start the plugins which you have previously done. So any configuration you have will all be present in the previous workspace like any specific code editor configuration you did or any Cloud Foundry setup which you have done previously with the API endpoints or any plugins with features you have added you have to add again here in the new workspace so I will go and add my workflow editor feature or extension to my new workspace so let's refresh it so it will take again one more refresh for us to use workflow in full stack web ID. so as i'm shooting in the first week of the new year so it's giving me a nice welcome message fine so let's um, go here in the development and uh, what i will do is i will go into a new project template and um, if you don't see workflow here then you have to basically switch to all category and um, you will then see workflow project here now if you don't enable the extension what we did in the previous step you will not see the workflow project so i will create demo workflow one the name of the project and again i have to give a name and demo workflow project one and for learning with north wind and let's finish so now if you go to developer helper guide we are in step nine actually switching to new workflow and creating a project and uh, step 10 is create a new sample activity to get date from api so this is the activity which we have to do in our workflow project which we just created so this is the workflow project now if i go and open the workflow project you can see that there is a new demo wfp1.workflow this is our workflow and um, all the other folders we have forms sample data scripts web content all are blank because we have not created any forms scripts or don't have any sample data in our application so what will happen is when we want to make this workflow or we develop this workflow on the process we will be creating script we will be creating sample data we will be creating forms and if we create starting of the application if you want this workflow to start from a ui5 application then we can put the entire uf application inside this web content and then we can also initiate or start the workflow from there so we will be over time seeing how to use that but for the first step of starting we will be just using this demo wfp one dot workflow and working with it in a workflow there is activities so we have a start event and when you select the start event then you get a lot of options so one is for joining the multiple activity which is sequence flow 
and the second is event if you press there then there is intermediate event intermediate timer and event terminate and event so you get control of the event so what happens in a workflow this path shows you if you have a activity then the path shows you how the activity should actually proceed so if i want to add a new activity then this is the third step which i can go and i can either have a user task which should be performed with a app by a user a service task which will be initiated by workflow which i will go for in the beginning and then we have a script task which will be piece of code now before really going and confusing ourselves it's better always to create a simple task or activity and see how it happens so 